Here's a short demonstration on how to prepare multi-channel audio inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. Here's some content that was filmed and then brought in through the media browser ready for editing. Some of this includes interviews. And to get the best audio from these interviews, it's important that we isolate the track that includes the handheld microphone, in this case, only. So a lot of times this audio will include natural sound nets that are recorded from the backup audio source, which is usually the camera mounted uh, microphone, that onboard microphone attached to the top of the camera or sometimes even built into the unit. However, we've got a better sound source because we're closer here using the handheld. Sometimes it's a lavalier, in this case it's a handheld. So let's use this audio instead. First though, we have to identify it. So if we play this clip back, we, we see that there's say, four yeah, tracks. I've been in the military, been around the emergency uh, management. Usually three and four might be duplicates, so let's go with one and two and hone in there. How do we do that? Well, we right click on that clip, go to modify audio channels, and we can see we have four mono tracks to select from. Let's make it one, because in the end we are only interested in hearing one track. So let's start by listening to track one. Have well, I have to say, it, yeah, I've been in the military, been around the Okay, I hear some background voices. Let's see if track two is a little bit more isolated. So again, I right click, modify audio channels. Let's select track two. And try it again. Well, I have to say, it, yeah, oh, yeah, I've been in the military cleaner. and been around hear the emergency it? management business a long time. And for this area, is the size of this is important to do because once you make this change, that clip now we know and probably we can even guess that everything recorded from this same day the same session everything using this microphone is all going to be recorded on channel two that's a safe bet to have unless the setup was struck and then changed on board the camera which you wouldn't know unless you're the operator you can always check but i would say it's a safe assumption why this is so important is you can't make this change once you've started editing with the content included in a sequence it will only be a change that's made to additional references that you bring into your sequence or timeline from that point forward. This is still going to sound the same because I've already brought it in. It's not going to make any change here. So you can't do this after you've started editing. Of course, a seasoned editor can always then look at the time code, reference it, make the change and go back in and pull it back in. But that's a lot of work when you could have prevented it in the first place by knowing how to prepare your multiple channel audio inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So again, what we want to do is isolate that audio, find the good sound, use your ears, listen to it, and then bring it in.